Hi grade 12, so in this video I decided to do the last part for question paper which was written in March 2019. So it was a common test. So I did question 1, question 2, question 3 for retaining innings notes and share ordinary share capital notes. But I left the part for uh, ratios that is related to company. So let's do it for this video so that you can gain all the knowledge that you need to know when you write your test or your examination okay it was 3.2 3.1 was covered you can check on the playlist for this video okay calculate the following financial indicators on 28 february 2019 3.2.1 stock turnover rate 3.2.2 net assets value per share okay Number 3.2.1, a stock turnover rate. We need to know the formula first before we even start with our calculation. All right. The formula that you need to use, guys, uh, it says cost of sales. Luckily, you guys, you are now given a formula sheet, which means that you're going to just copy them from your uh, formula sheet. Average inventory so this is the formula that we are going to use now let's try to calculate our cost of sales is it given information number a uh, they give us income statement they only give us a sales but number c the business use a markup of 30 percent on cost okay and this was maintained through the current financial period the whole year they were using 30 percent okay which means that in order for us uh, to convert sales into cost of sales, we have to say a sales amount of 2,821,000 multiplied by, we apply markup, 100 over 130. Okay, then it's gonna give us an amount of 2,170,000. 2,170,000. 70 is our cost of sales. Okay. Then now, uh, we have to get average inventory. Average simply means that we take two inventories at the beginning plus at the end and we divide by two. Okay. At the beginning, it was 400,000 and at the end, it was four. 40, which means that our average for this one is 420. Then you say 2 million 170 divided by 420, and it's gonna give you an amount of 5,6 times, which means that inventory were purchased and sold 5,16 times. Okay, so they didn't say anything about commenting. Let's ignore that part now. Okay. I think we're going to answer it uh, when we proceed. Number two, net assets value. Net asset value is equity divided by number of share. Equity is the same as net assets. Net assets, total assets minus total liability is going to give us equity. And it's the same as net assets. Okay. You can also use the word net asset, but it's the same net asset or equity divided by a number of share issued. Okay, our equity for 2019 is how much? Okay, we have 24 million of ordinary share capital, 24 million 700,000. Plus, the one that we calculated, guys, uh, on the previous question of retain income, which is 6 night. Of course, in order for you to get this one, you must watch the 3.1 that we did, okay, for this uh, question paper. Then we divide by number of share issue, okay, number of share issue, it was 3.8 million. Guys, if you, you didn't watch the 
previous one 3.1 please go and watch it because this amount is from the previous question and this amount is also from previous question okay then after that you're gonna get 668 cent 68 cent okay so this is our net asset value okay however uh, guys i want us to do a, a question that we need to think because they are also important as well okay the following question they said provide calculation to show changes in the dividends payout policy and comment on its impact on retain innings okay before we proceed guys i hope you have subscribed you have liked this video and please please uh, make sure that you share with friends so that they can also learn okay so you can also support us guys by purchasing one of our study guide which is accounting solution sa uh, is going to give you some solutions questions and many previous papers inside there so that you can prepare yourself for test and examination okay now let's answer 3.3 3.3 they said provide the calculation to show the change in dividends payout policy and comment on the impact on retain innings all right now let's um, comment on this one dividends yield 3.3 dividends yield you must know the formula first the formula said dividends per share divided by innings per share you know the formula so now we have to show the calculation and comment okay for 2018 guys for 2018 dividends Per share it was 84 cent then and we divide by innings per share of 70 cent okay then it's gonna give us 120 percent okay let's show the for 2019 2019 is 81 cent and we divide by 90 cent okay it's gonna give us 90 percent very simple now we have to comment what does this mean now as you can see guys it's more than 100 percent and this one is less than 100 percent okay what does then what does it, this mean let's start with the 90 percent one which means that the other 10 percent other 10 percent they keep it on retained innings it's like guys uh, dividends that they were supposed to be paid they didn't take all of them but 10 percent they keep it on retained innings account okay this is 90 percent 10 percent they keep it this one which means that now they go to retain innings or retain income and take what another 20 percent another 20 percent another 20 percent they take it from retain innings or retain income okay so that's the meaning of dividend yield all right now let's uh, check number 3.4 okay as i don't have a space here and i only use one side for 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 writing so which means that i can just show you uh, the possible answer for this one and we discuss explain why shareholders should be satisfied with return of investment quote two financial indicators to support your answer okay as you can see guys a uh, return on shareholders innings increased from 13.2 in 2018 to 25 percent in 2019 okay 
Then earnings uh, per share increased from 70 cent in 2018 to 90 cent in 2019. But dividends per share decreased to improve future perspective of the business. Okay. Then in uh, number 3.5, directors decided to increase the loan during the current financial year. Quote two financial indicators. Okay, two indicators that show that uh, the directors decided to increase the loan. Number one, you can check debt equity ratio, guys. It has increased, which means that liability has increased. And the return on capital employed, it has increased. Uh, um, it was from 20. Okay, let me open this part. It was 19,5. And now it is increased to 27. Okay. On the memorandum, they quoted that return on capital employed is 27% and exceeding interest rate the interest rate it was 16% all right so that's it for this question guys i hope you enjoy and you will go to playlist and check other questions that is also going to assist you to prepare for test and examination <laughs> see you